Let me just put it on sound so my phone doesn't <laughs> vibrate. It looks like we're having an earthquake, right? Don't mind me. This is some personal hygiene. Oh. But then I've already brushed my teeth. All right. <clears throat> oh. You know what? Let me do this just for one second. All right, so you know what? I gotta say something. Note to anyone who is either using or has been thinking on jumping on the Conodula line. This is a great moisturizer. As you can see, really even tone, moisturized, all that fun stuff, all that goodness, right? But if you look at it, it's the consistency and is like Vaseline or ba bag bomb. But honestly, it has more awesomeness because it has the Conodula in it. Don't even know if you don't put on. Okay. Sorry, the gardener is here, and I don't know if you can all can hear me or not. All right. Um, I use that at night. It's a really good night cream, like a daily night cream type of um, situation. But when you apply your makeup the next day and you don't wash it, it, like, the makeup just sits. And it looks like you pancaked it on, and you're like, wait a minute. I thought I was more careful than this. So, since I used it last night... I am going to use the Meissler water, or cleansing water, which is like a real quick cleanser, pretty much. And try to get just like the extra stuff off. Hello, or not hello, okay, you went bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right. And you know what? I should probably do start doing this before I apply my makeup. And yes, you might see pimples on my face. I just got done having my period and yeah, I broke out. I'm not going to lie. That's one of the things that the pads did not fix. And if you're curious what I'm talking about, I am talking about these new organic pads. Yes, I'm on that organic pad trend because I don't want cancer. End of story. If you didn't know, the ones like Always and Coltex, the ones that we're supposed to trust, have so much chemicals and it's absorbing through our womanhood that it's kind of insane if you ask me. Really. So, what I use now is Jewel. And it's a new company. And um, I get these through my upline's husband. Yes, I know, right? A, a guy giving you pads, right? But he really believes in it, and he has said some stuff that's really kind of, like, irked my attention. And one of them is the big old C word, cancer. So, I, and plus his wife said that the flow change, it, like, lessened. Mind you, she's just like me. She's a boy mom. She's has She's had two kids vaginal. And if you've had at least one vaginal birth you know your flow changes. And if you have two or more than that, let's just say at night, it'll either look like you murdered murdered someone on your back, or it's like your teenage years all over again. And only women will understand that. But it lessened, that, it lessened the cramps. The first day I got it, you know, typical, I woke up, so I went, oh, it's here. So I put on one of the pads, and yeah, I felt cramping. I felt all of that. But it was more like a poke than like, oh, I just want to play in my bed all day, but I can't. I got kids. It was like completely different. No mood swings, which was freaking awesome because the last few cycles, I have been, I don't want to say nasty, but I haven't been kind. Like, it's just, it's, <laughs> emotions are emotions, and it's freaking insane. And it was crazy, so I had to do something. So, jump on it. And if you want to know where I got those, just message me and I will send you to the man. Alright. I'm just going to dab the excess off. Because now it's time to pry. Oh, excuse oh, moi. Sorry. Sorry. 
Hello, hello to who's ever jumping on. Don't be a stranger. I see you. <laughs> I see two of you. So don't be strangers. It's my it's my Catherine. Hi, honey. Okay, so first things first. Well, after you cleanse your face, you use primer. I use the VFX camera ready. We have two different ones. We have the silver one, which is more of like a matte finish, which I like. And with the same matte um, foundation, it's just it just works out really, really well. And then we have another one that's like the purple bottle. I'm in a good mood. And second cup of coffee. Yesterday, I ended up having three cups of coffee and didn't go to sleep until two. I should have just stayed up and try, instead of trying to like stay in bed and trying to like fall asleep. Going, yeah, I had too much coffee. Ooh, I'm thinking about when I was five. Ooh, now I'm thinking about politics. Now I'm, it was, it was crazy. There's a whole lot of thumping going on. Mm. Why not? That better not happen when I'm putting on well, coffee's supposed to be good for your skin anyway. <laughs> okay. And then we also have the silver bottle, which is like the strobe, we call it. And that's more of like a illuminate. It's more of like a, will give you more of a shine. Me, I like to apply my shine with, high, with, with the highlight. All right, so. I just kind of put a little bit in key spots, cheeks, forehead. I'm getting down to the end of the bottle. Give me a second. A little on the chin. I do a line across, a thin line, because you do kind of have to do a little bit. And the reason why you want to prime is because you're setting your face. You're and you're also it's. If you think about it, think about it in construction when they have to go and put that like putty stuff over holes and make it flat that's kind of what you're doing to your face so um I don't know if you've seen my stories or not where I've um shown pictures of an apple with and without primer while it's wearing con wearing conditioner and you see all the holes coming through the um the foundation on the one that didn't have primer and when I saw that I was like okay I gotta get on this primer thing because before I will admit before pharmacy I wasn't into freaking primer. I wasn't into contour. I was simple. I did my, I every once in a while I did concealer if I had concealer, but I did foundation. I did my eyes. I did my lips. I did not do my eyebrows. I, you know, I did not do all of that. I didn't do all the, this primer stuff. I sure as hell didn't do contour because I thought, it, all right. Yeah, I know I froze. It was lovely. And ironically, my mom comes in and goes, oh, because um, the other day, we ended up having salmon for dinner, and my husband didn't cook it all the way through, and so the center was kind of red, and William must have eaten some of that with him, and poor little man's tummy, so don't mind me. I love my kids and their asses. But their ass smells like their father's. Woo! <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we just primed. And what I like to do is I do some things old school. I'm not going to lie to you. I do some things old school. And I put on my conditioner. My conditioner. My foundation first. Where is my foundation? Oh, there it is. Okay. And then I do my concealer, then my highlight, then the contour, then the powder, and then more contour. More. It. I think it takes me a good half hour just to freaking set my face before I could even do my eyes. And it's funny, my mom's here with the kids, so that's why I'm able to do a live like this this long and just really kind of start talking and just do a full-on makeup tutorial. <clears throat> and plus, I haven't been on this group. Hey, Brenda, how are you, Mama? Um, I, what am I looking for? Oh, another stick. So, um, yeah, why not? It's Friday. Why not? <laughs> I 
If my mom's here watching the kids, let me go on a vacation and do a live and do makeup. Instead of doing it at the table, making sure that it hasn't turned into WWE in the freaking living room and that the baby's still alive and breathing. Because I'm trying to teach that kid self-defense and he just, it hasn't clicked yet. <laughs> yes, I'm that kind of boy mom. Teaching the second one self-defense because God help him. Where is my other contour stick? Do, 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 do. Because it's in with my brushes. That is awesome. <clears throat> right. So sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Okay. All right. Hey, Auntie. Happy birthday, Auntie. Yes, she is here. She's with the kids. That's why I'm doing this. All right. Yeah, and another thing I used to not do is apply of my freaking conditioner, my conditioner, my foundation, my concealer, and my, and let alone my highlight, with a freaking brush, let alone a kabuki brush. I've gotten bougie. But it's okay. With pharmacy, I could be bougie because I get 50% off as a booty influencer. So it's kind of funny. It's like, if you think about it, you almost, when you become um, a booty influencer and you work the business, you almost get like 100% of your money back when you do like the bulk order situation, when you get people to jump on that because of just how everything kind of works out. It's kind of cool. All right. Anyway, I I have to admit, I want to get one of those. I've seen Mario on the Kardashians have it. It's like a clear glass thing. And I wish my grandma was still alive because I could probably borrow one of hers. Well, not borrow, but I could probably bake her and sweet talk her and, and letting, her, letting her give it to me. Um, it's like a clear glass, just a square, and I could put the um, all of my wet makeup on that. And I've been thinking of getting... Um, our pigments, which is like loose powder that's really bright, and start making some kind of like liquid situation, like either liquid eyeshadow, and then even mix the colors. I'm thinking, I don't know. My mind. That's one of the things my mind went crazy about after three cups of coffee and I couldn't go to sleep. I can't move to the kitchen. That's where the kids are. like I blended most of it in I take the booty blender and it's the new booty blender from pharmacy it's really cute it's really soft what I like about it the most is that it's soft and that it has this flat thing yeah you could get this at CVS yes I know that but pharmacy makes it baby butt soft like you have it it matters and I forgot to get this wet okay so what I like to do I have two different setting sprays and from the different tutorials I've watched they've always said hey when you're blending with a booty blender or hey mama Debbie um with a booty blender <clears throat> and doing stuff like that you always kind of want to do a wet one so what I do is I use our time lock which is more of a glow type finish spray with wetting a certain like my contour brush and my booty blender and then to finish it off I use the be fit because that's more of a matte finish and it's just like I said earlier I like matte finishes all right so give me a second all right <laughs> spray twice and I get a little swirl <laughs> oh, stop you know what, let me see if I open up the open up the window because earlier the gardener was here and he was mowing and blowing and God knows what else he was doing and making a lot of noise and so I had to shut it because I didn't want it to cancel out me. 
So he seems to be gone. And now we just blend. And if you've seen uh, Edward Scissorhands, you know that scene. We just blend, blend, blend. And I think of that every freaking time I blend my face. Even the part where at the end he goes, mm -hmm. if you didn't know by now, I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. Unfortunately, I am dated a crazy ass Johnny Depp impersonator who thought he was Johnny Depp and it was just too fucking weird. Debbie, you know. <laughs> Pardon my French. Yes, that was an interesting part of my 20s. But... seems to be blended in for the most part okay, and I gotta try to make this fast so far the kids sound like they're okay but we know children we know them they're crazy okay now concealer and the way that that just popped it makes me think that I need to buy new concealer oh again I should have known that and honestly <clears throat> A tip that I do with a concealer, I use it to build my highlight. Like, this is where I start building the highlight. Oh, shoot. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, whatever. So, where I put the highlight, I put the concealer. So, like, under my eyes. And I do a little bit on the eyebrow, on the top and bottom, right in there. As you can see, just to kind of help me shape the eyebrows. And like I said, to build the highlight. And then here I do on my chin chin chin. Where am I missing? So I got a little darker. Got a little darker. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. What? Let's see that a little bit more. Right in there. And then we'll do it under there. And then under there. Alright. Okay. Now we're done. And then I also use the Kabuki. Honestly, with the Kabuki brush, I literally keep this to only my wets. <clears throat> I use it for my, con my foundation, concealer, and the highlights. And with the... Um, my highlight contour and then my little highlight glow situation it's all a cream puff because I do I contour do two different ways at the same time kind of a lot of people I know they contour with um they contour with creams or with powders and I do both and I'm going to show you and if you don't know what, what contour is you need to jump on that why because it makes your face look skinnier yes you heard me. It makes your face look skinnier, and who doesn't want that in their life? What time is it? Ah, it's ten minutes. Oh my god, the baby's gonna. Hopefully, that bottle was fine, and he's gonna be okay right now. All right. There's that contour. No highlight. That's the glow stick. I'm so sorry this keeps freezing, guys. I really am. I'm sorry. Okay, and you know what's cute? On Nikki Tutorial, who is a makeup influencer on YouTube, I watch her for her tips. She does something really, really cute when she puts it on her forehead. She does like a little, like, heart. I just think that's really cute. Alright. And honestly, I wish they had different shades of highlight. I feel like this highlight's too dark for me. I feel like I have to like pancake it on. Or at least do a lot more of the powder highlight. It's The struggle is real. Now, no, this is not a pharmacy brush. Wish it was, but it's not. It's a normal e.l.f. contour, another kabuki brush using a time lock settings or setting spray 
and I have a sip of coffee and pray that it doesn't pour over. <laughs> okay. That no, no. I'm not ready for my where am I? Okay. Sorry, with hearing William be crazy right now, it's like oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> So I don't know what would be easier, working outside the house and having moments like this, or having a babysitter here and hearing all of this. I don't know. That's why, that's why I need a big house. I need to be on the other side of the house and do work. And I have to admit, this is a fun part of the job, is talking about the products and just telling you how awesome all of this stuff is. Really. Okay, now I'm going to blend. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I go and use the beauty blender throughout the cream process, you could say. So that it kind of takes off that excess and it just helps blend everything else really good too. Now contour, and contour, I always, before, thought it was kind of ridiculous, thought it was this thing that, okay, I, no, I really do that, mom's got to pee, like really, um, I kind of do the easy contour that Kim talks about. I do that, but anyway, I when you get it all done before you blend, your makes your face look like it's on a roadmap. And one of the things I love to contour is my nose. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my God, what is doing? All right, and like I said, this is the part that makes you look skinny. Okay, so this part definitely makes you look skinny. And yes. Alright. Just gonna spray that one more time. So I don't know if it's wet, even though I've touched it. Okay. Yeah, it's really important that you go and use whatever you use to go and um, do your contour to go and make sure that it's white so it just glides better. And some of the tutorials that I watched, they said, oh, go in circles and you go down. I've noticed that if I just kind of follow the line with this, when I get into the cheekbones, it just kind of just accentuates my cheekbone. That's another, that's another reason why I've got into contouring because it kind of just I feel like it makes everything kind of chiseled out. That's why I like to contour my nose. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like if you could see already. Uh, yeah. Then my forehead. And you can just see half of my face. This I do like to blend a little down. Because this part, you, this is the part where you're kind of like... You're darkening your shadows. That's what that's what you're doing, pretty much. And then, because it's dark, I like to kind of blend it into my eyebrow. But as you can see, how this side, you can just notice how right in here, it looks a little bit more chiseled. Here, you can kind of see a more defined line. And what's really cool is here, it kind of gives you that natural shadow on your forehead. And then your jawline is just a little bit sharper. So... That's why I like to contour. And then plus it makes you look skinny. So in your photos, if you angle your face just right, you look a lot skinnier. <laughs> so I'm now going to do the other side. And then, like I said, I do like the Kim Kardashian thing. I do the three. And that's kind of how I remember the process. Because I, to be honest, I thought contouring was going to be so much harder. I really did. Alright. 
And then you can see in the nose. Hold on. It's just giving that like, and then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use our glow sticks and I'm going to, um, pretty much start adding the glow and that's going to help the powder highlights later. Here. See, I just, I got like, I guess like the pixie dust. And just like where you apply the other highlight, you would apply this highlight. But not too heavy, because if we do too heavy, it, oh, oh, let me say this. Depending on how heavy you want your highlight is obviously how heavy you want to put this. Um, if you want to, like, just pretty much glow, then pack this stuff on. I want a medium glow, so that's why I'm packing a little bit. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use the Booty Blender on this one. And then I just, oh shit, part of my French. And I always like to go and put a little highlight under, because when it will help with the foundation, not the foundation, it will help with the um, eyeshadow. If you do eyeshadow, today I, I am going to do a little eyeshadow. So I want to play with our new palette. Oh, I hear chaos in the living room. Party with me is really excited about being in here right now. Now I know. Now I'm on this why I call her crying sometimes. Ooh, no, oh no, that's okay. Okay, I thought I went over the contour too much, but it actually seemed to work out and it softened it up a little bit. Okay, now that that's done, I'm pretty much done with the wets. Now it's time to set the face. So I'm going to use my setting spray, not my setting spray, my setting powder. And yes, I love on it. And it's a pressed powder, as you can see. Oh, shoot. And then I'm going to, because of time and what it sounds like in the living room, before I actually really set my face, I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is like the darkest you could go, I think. And then... I'm not good at eyebrows. I'm not. Okay, so don't judge me. That's why I like to keep it nice and simple. This is what I do most of the time. I take the mascara brush and I do this. Hey, Ken. Charlie Chaplin. Okay, so hold up, hold up. This is what I'm gonna do. Where is it? I'm gonna take my brush, my eyebrow brush, and just work through it all. I'm even going to use this part and just work the product through so it doesn't look so extreme. <laughs> like I said, this is how I do my makeup. This is my makeup tutorial. Oh, I just fucked something up. Lord almighty, I'm Ah, easy fix. Okay. 
Thank God that was an easy fix. But yeah, that's, I'm just going to leave the eyebrows on. It's not like I'm leaving the house. <gasps> no, why did I do that? I need that open. Okay. Now, going back to setting the face. Now that's done. Now it's the eyes. All right. So where's my pencil? What I always like to do is I like before I even start my eyes, put on eyeshadow before I do anything. I literally do a really thin line of black, j just along my eyelash line. That's pretty much all I do. It's okay if it's not perfect, as you can see, because I'm going to be putting eyeshadow over it, and then when I do the um, the real eyeliner, it's gonna it's gonna help with the extreme. Not the extreme, but it it will help with the boldness. Okay, all right, that's done. Okay, so, remember how I said we have a new fall palette, highlight palette, there we go. Today, I think I'm going to play with the green. Where is my brushes? Hold on. Gotta find a brush that is not, is not covered in... There's that one. I think there's my other one. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now I feel situated. I have blood. And it's kind of insane right now. I have all this makeup and this tiny ass bag. So I need, I really need a new makeup bag desperately because not only is everything kind of crammed in here and I keep buying new stuff, like I shouldn't because I kind of have the basics, I kind of have what I need, I have enough to have fun, I have enough, you know, but it's like a sickness. <laughs> and it's, and it's hard to find things, I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, okay, alright. So I'm gonna use our mono shadow number 13. You know, pretty much it's just like a champagne glitter. And I'm putting that all over my eyelid as the base coat. And also, this is gonna help with popping of the color. And then I will admit, I go kind of heavy right under my eyebrow to kind of make it pop. And then I go heavy in my inner eye. Okay. Hey Alma, how are you? How are your feet?
Sorry, I got like all quiet. So I take my eyes very seriously. Well, mama is stuck with the children. <laughs> dear helper, dear god helper. Okay, so yeah, I'm playing with the new fall palette, the beautiful one that they like to call it. Hey, Jessica. Here it is. It is so pretty. Oh my god. Alright, so let me do my attempt. I think this is a cut crease. I want to attempt to do the orange. Can I give a shadow? And with the orange, I don't know if I want to go green or the magenta in this part. Like this part of the of the eye, I don't know what I want to do. Hey, Katie Ann. So, green or magenta? Mind you, I am not. I am not a professional. I just watch a lot of YouTube. I don't practice like I should. Anyway, I'm gonna take the I'm taking the orange and kind of trying to do like a cat eye situation. Alright. You know what? I think I'm gonna use the green because I have green eyes and I wanna see what that's gonna do. And the last time I played with the magenta more. Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. That's the eyeshadow look because I have no time to take it off and start over. <laughs> not that I hate it. I'm just not used to it. Not into use, I'm not used to colors. I'm not, I'm not, I will not lie to you on that. I think I did this wrong. <laughs> yeah. That is what it is, though. That is what it is. Okay, I was going to put the magenta in, but I want to play around with our new brown liner. So, so far, I have three out of five. Where's my black? Well, I have the green. And I, the, if, you, if you saw my pictures yesterday, it's from this. And then here's the brown. Since it's kind of a fall situation, I want to do the brown. And I like this because this actually helped me perfect my, um, my winged eye. That I started to tingle. That's interesting. <laughs> and what I think I'm going to have to do with this brown is I want to make it a really thick, really bold.
Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, so here it is. My eyes are watering up. But hey, the struggle is real. And I just realized I forgot to do something. So I like to take this brush. Don't know what it's called. But that's why I didn't like it at first. It's because I didn't blend everything right. Mama, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. She's leaving me like that. Um, hold on. I, give me less than 10 minutes. Oh. All right, so where was I? This eye. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go really thin with black. And it's just gonna like brighten up. And then when I use the new mascara, well, the thick eye, the thick, I can see the fake eyelashes. The, yeah. And, and what? See, I'm trying to debate. Yes, okay, I'm gonna do the liquid. Just gonna do it. And I'm gonna do a try to do the thinnest line. Okay. It actually kind of gives it a cool effect because it makes it pop. But it also kind of gives it looking like it's a shadow, if that makes any sense. See? You see the black, you see the pop, you see all of that, but then above that you see the brown. And you can already see the different eye colors. Ooh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm getting into this, I'm getting into this. I am getting into this. Okay. Now, blush. Which palette is this? Awesome. Okay, here's the peach palette. This is one of another new product. What is really cool is in the last. Well, no, my my um June maybe July, we actually they launched the um each month until the end of the year that they were going to launch a new product. And they've actually started, they have launched a few products each month. It's not just been one. And this was actually one of the first ones. And the eyeshadow that I just used is one of the new ones. It's the one that obviously came out in October. And you better believe I had to jump on that. And I really like this palette. Oh, shoot, that's right. I didn't. Oh, I forgot to talk about the powder. I, uh, contour. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Alright, so I blushed. Alright, so it comes with a bronzer, it comes with a highlight, and it comes with a blush. I just used the blush. Now I'm going to use the contour. I'm going to use this tiny little brush. This is all I use to contour my nose. And I try to go light because I don't want it to be too extreme. But then I also go and try to bring it down the nose so it kind of gives it that really cool shadow under 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 yeah see i go over try to go like i don't want to be too extreme with it because that's just kind of nuts where is the eye Okay, and then for the rest of the face, I just take one of those and I try and I I mainly do it on my forehead because I like it. 
without this sounding conceited, without this sounding all vanity related, I like doing the powder on my forehead and on my chin because in photos it just makes everything go. And I'm going to do a little bit on the cheekbone. I try not to because I should have done this before I did the, done when I put the powder, but I didn't. And oh well. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then now it is highlight time, highlight time. I'm gonna use that dark highlight, the one in the middle, right there, as you can see. It's like a really cool champagne. That's not the brush I need or want. I want my fan brush. Okay. And then I go right under the eye. Like, like I said, this is where you go and place it um for your other uh, what am i trying to say this you place this highlight the same place you place the other highlight i always use this for last because it just kind of gives it that last bit of pop and then i even bring it up here like i said so that it kind of helps shape the eyebrow and plus i've always thought that the little pop of color right in here has always been really really sexy and then go on your nose. And then what's cool with the fan brush, you just have to fan it out. And then some on your chin, chin, chin. And then on your nose. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. Now the fun part because of the mascara but the mascara it there is a method of doing it because it is a it is two different in one and it kind of that's what gives you the false eyelash look the double extend lash as you can see we have the volume and the length the volume gives you a lot of ink so you got to do that really fast and then before it dries Go in with the length, which is the same brush that you used before, and it just gives you less ink on it, and then it also helps you spread out your lashes, and it just kind of finishes up the deal. Okay, so let me curl these. And you want to work the upper lid completely before you work the lower. So. I'm going to curl this really, really good. And I always like to curl and then tack it with mascara. And you want to go with like one layer. All right. Yeah, putting me back on your head before it dries, before it dries. Uh, okay. sorry so so sorry okay as you can see just the difference alone the dramaticness you could say it's fire now i'm gonna work the bottom and then i'm gonna do the same to the other side i'm not gonna keep it all close to my eye like that because i really gotta jump on the mess on lipstick now after this all right, do one. Okay. There it is. Okay. Yes, this whole, like, doing it as quick as possible thing is kind of a buzzkill because you got to be careful with that. But when you see the end result, you just go through it. You just do it. Why? Because it's beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It gives your eyes a really nice finish to all your mascara, to your eyeliner. Because y'all know makeup is, not makeup, eyes are the window to the soul. 
And why not dress up your soul with your eyes? this do this okay all right totally giving fish face right now but you love it Okay. Unfortunately, got some. But okay, now my eyes are done. My eyes are done. Lips. Where's my conditioner? I have a total mess to clean up. All right, so I take my lip conditioner. This helps. What? Hello, condition your lips, and it does help the color as well as it helps with the long lasting and then my trick for this certain color alone it's a little color combination so i take our liquid matte this stuff does not move it doesn't go anywhere okay i got sunset breeze which is a really nice brown i apply one one uh layer to both and i don't dip it back in you'll see it real fast See, I could stop here and go, but I'm not. So take tissue paper and dab. And then this is what I do. This is my top coat. I take my liquid matte hottie toddy and I go over it. Now, this is like a lipstick. So with that said, you do, if you were to wear this one by, by itself, it would rub off if you eat, okay? But the liquid matte, you would have more longevity. And that's why I layer it underneath. So if I put that and I eat, I still have some kind of brown tint. So there's that. Now, I am done. My hair is what it is, and it is, it is what it is. Oh, no, I'm not done. Okay. So, now setting spray. Do the Be Fit. This is sweat proof. And, and also, it's a matte finish, which I really, really like. And on that note, I gotta go. Because my mom wants to leave. And... <sighs> She wants to leave. Can I just stay in here forever? No. Okay. All right. Time to be a mom. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Happy Friday. <laughs>